Drivewood has just updated, so let's check it out. Going into the shop to look at the new cars, you can see that they added a whole new sorting system. And the brand new car we have in the shop, the mixture has finally come to the game. But it's been fully redesigned. And this is a pretty expensive car. Good thing I have a lot of money for this. And here it is. I haven't upgraded it at all. It has a score of 1,814 and a horsepower of 751. And at stock, it has a mile per hour of around 210. So it's definitely a slower car, but the acceleration is way better than most of the other cars in the game. And now I'm going to upgrade it and see the customizations. Yeah, this car is really, really expensive. Most average players will not be getting this anytime soon. These tow hooks are new, uh, I need to check to see if these are any other cars. And there isn't many customizations on this car because it's a race car and it wouldn't really make sense to have boilers or something else on it. And here's the tune I use for race circuit. Uh, you don't need to use a 10 speed, you could use an 8 speed because the car doesn't even reach that fast of a speed. But I just use a 10 speed for this, it doesn't really matter. Maxing this out, it has a score of 3,110 and a horsepower of 1,379. And this car can reach around like 300 miles per hour, but because of my tune, it can get around 250 miles per hour to 270 miles per hour. But it's not really practical to use this on around the world. And here's a quick run of it on race circuit. And as you can see, this car is definitely the best for this race. And with the race car being added, they added a brand new race. This isn't the tune for this race, but I'll show it off still. I think this race is pretty cool. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. They have also redesigned the Bugatti in the game. And they have added some new body customizations to it. And they have added bumper stickers, which is just a student driver for now. And the tow hooks are on every car now, so you can customize them a little bit more. Moving on to the weekly challenges. The challenges seem to be the exact same as last week, or some of these might be a little bit different, but we've had them all before. And we have a new Porsche in the game which is an off-road Porsche, and they brought the Blip GT back. So if you ever wanted this car, you can earn it now. So let's go and finish these challenges and see how good the new Porsche is.
Right, so as you can see, I'm almost done with the quest. I just need smash score. And the best way is definitely to go out into the desert and break these cactuses. And there we go. We have finished every single weekly challenge, so let's collect them now. And here it is in person. At stock, it has a score of 539 and a horsepower of 503. So let's upgrade it. And here are the customizations for it. When it's maxed, it has a score of 1,201 and a horsepower of 1,276. And it has a top speed of around 300 miles per hour. This is actually pretty good for a rally car. With that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.